Buffy Paradise is an animated series based originally on the web series made by Himawaro appearing on Sachu Zero website before coming out a light novel and published by Furubasha. The series revolves around the main character, Midori Asuka, an office worker who is overworked to death, but things start to look better for her when God takes pity on her and reincarnates her into another word of us Dylan. As a baby called Nefirian Austin, or Nia for short. When Nima was still an office worker, her main love in life was to touch and pet fluffy animals. To help Nira out and give her a better life, God grants her the skill to attract the affection of fluffy non-humans and hopefully not get eaten by them. Num num num. God doesn't just reincarnate Nira out of pity, but also to judge if humans should be eliminated for persecuting non-humans. This fluffy cute anime just got dark and serious. Nima was born as a daughter of a duke and when she's visiting the royal castle with her mother she meets the royal family's pet sky tiger by the name of Lars and also the crown prince Wilhelm both of whom she makes quick friends with. While visiting the school her older siblings Canadian and Ralph are attending, Canadian accidentally summons a dangerous dragon, but before the guards can kill the dragon or the dragons kill them, Nia, to everyone's surprise, protects it and makes friends with it. It turns out that this dragon name is Sol and is interested in forming a pact with Nia at some point before flying off. Sol isn't the only dragon that Nira befriends, she also befriends all the royal dragon knight's mounts too. And then she makes friends with all the beasts serving in the army. It's starting to sound like she's creating an army. Nira's talent with magical creatures doesn't go unnoticed and the royal family believes she has a gift from God and wants her to summon holy beasts in order to use them to better the kingdom. I don't see any of this discrimination against non-humans that God spoke of in this anime. Instead the anime is very cute and innocent with nice characters and fluffy cuddly animals with Care Bears probably lurking somewhere else. The art style is very nice, making good use of the cute fluffy animals. The acting also works well with the cute atmosphere, with only the music losing a bit in the background. The series that this series most resembles is Too Cute Crisis, because of the girl from another world and because cute fluffy animals.